Oh. The Bible is the mark of the beast. We're made in a certain way, and this is why God could put us in a deep sleep and take a rib out of Adam. God put Abraham in a deep sleep. And so I want you to watch this. When you witness them to Bible worshipers, seems like their eyes glazes over. And there's more to it than just uh, talking to a person. You're not talking to a person when you're talking to a Bible worshiper. You're talking to a hypnotized person. They're under a spell. Now, I know this sounds crazy, but you've seen it. When Benny Hinn moves his arm, that's a post-hypnotic suggestion. They'll all fall down. You've seen that. I, I, I know uh, Gil Bowen in uh, Los Angeles. He's one of the greatest hypnotists in the world. He trained all them actors like Rambo or Sylvester Stallone, what his name is. They can really be that person that they're playing because they hypnotize them into that. So these people, when they when they stand up and say, this is my Bible, I am what it says, they go into a hypnotic state. When they say, open your Bibles, that's a post-hypnotic suggestion. They go into a state, and when you're witnessing to one of them, you're witnessing to a person that's under the power of Satan. Jesus was talking to some of them, and he said, you are of your father, the devil, and his will will you do. Why are they under the power of the devil? Because they give themselves to the devil. So now we'll go through this and pay attention, and then you'll understand why the people are under a strong delusion. They didn't love the truth. They loved, they believed the lie, and now they're down because God turned them over to Satan because they don't want the truth. They don't want the Holy Ghost, so he turned them over to Satan. There's a few of us Holy Ghost people, and a lot of the Holy Ghost people wonder why in the world you can tell a Bible person the plain truth. I mean, just so simple a five-year-old could understand it, and they can't get it. And this is their... The hypnotist swirl, and yes. they go into a trance. They automatically, it's like a cue, and they automatically say, the Bible says, yeah. the Bible says. That's, that's their so hypnotic. they're under a spell. Post-hypnotic suggestion. Yeah. All right. Now, in, in Luke, you see, it said, then Satan entered Judas, and he betrayed Christ. Now, see, this is something people can't see. They can't see Satan going into Judas. But that's the way he got it. He took power over Judas. And that's why he uh, betrayed Jesus Christ. Because Satan entered to it. See, instead of Jesus having power over him, see, Jesus has power over us with the Holy Ghost. See, you can't hypnotize a Holy Ghost person and you cannot, a devil cannot enter a Holy Ghost person unless that person gives their heart to him. You see? Right. It's like the carrot. Uh, there, if Judas wanted something, the money, then Satan can entice him with that, and he hypnotizes him, and he gets into him with that thing that he desired. It's just like people that's addicted. They can't get off of it because Satan enters into them, and they belong to him. Most of the people in this world belongs to the devil. Why is the president swearing on the Bible? Because he belongs to the devil. If you're not regenerated, if you haven't received the Holy Spirit into your spirit and born of the Spirit, then you belong to Satan. And... You've you've heard of these people that do these heinous crimes, and they'll say, "It wasn't me. I, something else come over me, and I watched my body doing it, but I didn't want to do it. It wasn't me." And they can't explain it. The judge says it was you, but the judge don't understand hypnosis. Now watch this as as we go through this. The serpent beguiled me. That's what Eve told the Holy Father. The serpent hypnotized me. The serpent put me in a trance. The serpent took power over me. That's what she was saying. He charmed her. He told her what wonderful things that it was going to be, you know, and he, he hypnotized her that way. Back in the mountains, us hillbillies would watch a snake uh, charm a bird. That's the way they catch a bird. They charm a bird. They come up at them with their tongue, taking out that little bird and just hop around. Pretty soon they'll catch it and eat it. It charms a bird. That's the way they do in these churches. They go down there for 40 years and give them their money. And everything, they're hypnotized. They go out on a job singing like they ain't a slave. They're slaves to Satan, but they don't know it. They're hypnotized. Mm -hmm. This is the only way you can understand this. When you watch a person with the Holy Ghost witnessing to a Bible worshiper, and they can't, they can't, they can't say the Bible is an idol. They can't believe that because they're hypnotized into this Bible. And so that's the way it is today. You're living in a world where people are in a trance. Things are different than you think they are. I was raised around horses. I was probably riding horses before I could walk. Anyway, they were putting me on them. But I never knew 
about hypnotism. And Harlan bought me a little paint horse when we lived in north of Houston. And he went out there in the field with the horse, and he would go into a trance, and he would call that horse to him. And that horse, Concho, he did not want to be caught. He did not want to be ridden. And he would run. You couldn't catch him. It was awful trying to catch him. Well, Harlan went out there and put his head down like this and went in a trance. And in the spirit, he would call Concho over to him. And after a few minutes, Harlan would look up and Concho would be standing there in front of him with his head down like that, breathing heavy. And he could just put the bridle on him. And then he'd have to wake him up before he could ride him because the horse was in a trance. That was amazing to me. I had been, you, you've heard of horse whispers. I'd been around horses all my life, and I never knew that. And God does this. Peter fell into a trance. I've been in a trance many times. It's the way Jesus speaks to us. He don't speak to our natural man. This is the power Jesus has over us. He he has power. He just If he comes to me right now, I'd go into a trance. Or like it said in scriptures, he fell at his feet like a dead man. He goes into a trance. And it's like John, when he got the book of Revelations, he was in a trance. He was in the spirit. So Peter fell into a trance. That's where he seen the sheep coming down. And the Lord and him was talking. And he was in a trance. Same way with the, the Apostle Paul. He would fall into a trance. Paul fell into a trance and seen Jesus. You don't worship God in the flesh. You worship him in the spirit. So the devil controls the world. And you, you talk to him and you tell him the truth. I can tell a Bible worship. I said, when did the New Testament begin? And their eyes, because well, if they say... At the cross of Calvary, when Jesus shed his blood, then that means Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John's old covenant, and he can't say that his Bible is not the word of God. So they can't even face the truth. They can't even face the truth. Satan hypnotizes people in those churches all the time to get their money, to get their obedience, and to keep them under his control. And the people don't even know it. They don't even know what is happening to them. This is the only way you'll ever understand this, is to know that they're under a spell. Now... This one tells, God shall send them strong delusions because they didn't love the truth. And so they fell under the Bible. Instead of being under the Holy Ghost, they know it's supposed to be under the Holy Ghost, but they hypnotized into Satan. So when you're talking to a, a Bible worshiper, trying to witness to them, and you wonder why they can't understand, they say God is in this book. Nobody in their right mind would say God's in a book. But 2 billion, 300 million Bible worshipers says God's in this book. There's one brother, he goes around and witnesses to people uh, face to face. And a couple of them he's done here lately. It amazes me when I watch the people that he's telling the truth to. All of them say the same thing. Well, Jesus is the Bible and the Bible is God's word. And they all, it's like they're, they get this blank look on their face. They're under a spell, you know, it's like, and he'll ask them, well, who told you that? And he'll say, well, God told me that. And he'll say, God told you that? Yeah, it's in the Bible. <laughs> so then here's the power of Satan over Ananias and Sapphira. They uh, let their heart be filled with the power of Satan, and they lied. They wanted that money. So that's the way Satan will get you. If you want something, if you want money to be free, you tell Jesus, I want money to be free. I don't have to serve Satan. And you don't spend it on a Rolex watch. You won't fool Jesus. If you want money to get free, he'll give it to you. But if you want to fulfill the lust of the flesh, you won't, you'll be in serious trouble. They and, fell down dead. And there's a bunch of phony, um, humble people today that make vows of poverty. And, and they'll go into a religious form of not living after the flesh. But they're not even in the Holy Spirit. They're in their own spirit, the spirit of the world. And they're just in a, a form of religion, but they're not in the Holy Spirit. There's... A, Many people getting in the spirit today, but they're getting in their own spirit, in the spirit of the world. And they're trying to give up the flesh and not do the things in the flesh, but they're actually in the spirit of the devil. Now remember, this is a deep truth. The only way you'll understand Bible worshipers is to know they're hypnotized. And you can't bring them under the power of God because they're under the power of Satan. It takes a power. It takes a heart that wants out. They want. They got to want Jesus. They have to be ordained to eternal life. They got to have a good heart. So you can't hypnotize a hypnotized person. If you witness to a Bible worshiper, they're hypnotized. And you can't bring them into the power of God unless God touches them and breaks that spell off of them. That's right, because they're under the spell of Satan and they belong to Satan. They've already been branded by him. 
and he owns them, and, and it takes the power of God to break that power. But if they love the world and the flesh more than they love God, they can't be brought out of that. So remember this. This is the only way you'll understand why you can't witness the Bible worshipers. I've told them so simple, so many things, but you can't. They're hypnotized into Satan. <laughs> Satan, full of lust and hate. Jesus came and filled my heart with love. I came from the bottom, peace and love I got him. Spirit came up on me like a dove. I'm moving on up with my Jesus. Jesus Christ, good. 